Hi everybody, Holly Dean Coupon Queen here. So I just want to jump on here and do a real quick video about an app that I have. So in my last video, I used some free product coupons that were PDFs. They were not unique. They did not have PIN numbers. An example is this coupon right here for a free jar of Fodi pasta sauce. So I've had a lot of questions about them, about their stores not wanting to accept them. So first and foremost, I just wanted to share the app that these are coming from. It's called Peakage. I'm going to post the link below in the description of this video. If you want to sign up, please, please, please use my link. I get a thousand coins and you get a thousand coins and you can redeem those for rewards. But it doesn't cost anything to apply for these. It's like sampling campaigns almost. Um, if your store has questions about where you got these coupons from, you can download that app and these campaigns are still available to join. We've got this one. We've got the um, free Just Egg Frozen Folded 4-Pack that's still available and they will email the coupon to you so you can pull the email up if your store has questions. They also have a campaign for a Monk Pack Bar. They're going to actually mail you a Monk Pack Bar. So a lot of free stuff that can be had in this app and there's um, been a lot of freebies um, given out in this app and there are from what I can see mostly PDF coupons so it's nice um, again the link is in the description of this video if you want to download that app and you'll get notifications of like new new campaigns I guess um, so go download that a couple of things that I wanted to address about coupon verbiage so apparently some stores have not been wanting to take this coupon because it says um, Uh, this coupon is applicable to one Fodi pasta sauce at Sprouts and Whole Foods stores in the USA. Find us at Sprouts and Whole Foods, and then it has specific states. I imagine that it's probably not sold in any other states. There's the states right here at the bottom. So make sure you check their store locator. Only one Publix in my area even sells these. But at the end of the day, right here at the top, it says manufacturer coupon. And in Publix's coupon policy, it says that they take manufacturer coupons. It does not exclude a store, um, I'm sorry, a coupon that has another store's logo on it. So if you look at CVS and Walgreens coupon policy, and I have not looked at those in a long time, but I know in the past they have said that if it has another retailer's logo or says valid at a specific retailer that they won't take it, Publix's coupon policy does not say that. So if in doubt, always refer back to their coupon policy. Also, it says, um, somewhere up here, limit one coupon per purchase. Also in Publix's coupon policy, they specify each item is considered its own purchase. It does not say one per transaction, one per household per day, one per shopping trip. It just says one per purchase and each item is its own purchase. That actually happened to me on Wednesday when I did my video. Um, and how I rectified that was I said, oh yes, I bought, I, I purchased eight. That's what I said. And then it clicked in her head. She was like, oh yeah, I forgot. Purchase means item, not shopping trip or transaction. Um, so that means one coupon per item purchase. So as long as you're reverting back to their coupon policy and um, you're willing to pull it up or address it or say this is what your coupon policy says, most of the time they'll take it. Um, haven't had a whole lot of issues. Normally that resolves the issues. Other than that, if you all have any questions, please let me know in the comments of this video. But again, if your store is especially difficult and likes to reject coupons for whatever reason, go download the Peakage app with my link below and sign up for the campaign yourself. That way you have the official email showing that it's a valid coupon. That way they can verify it. Uh, one more thing I forgot to point out. Most, most printable coupons have a PIN number. This does not. It's what's considered a PDF coupon. That means that you can print it 5,000 times if you want. Please don't print it 5,000 times, it's very excessive. But I'm just saying, there's no limit as to how many times you can technically print this because it's a PDF coupon. It is not unique. There is no such thing as copying a PDF coupon because it's not unique. Um, for normal printable coupons, like the Natalie's coupon, it has a pin number right there. Hopefully it'll focus a little bit. Um, probably can't get it to focus but right at the bottom there is a pin number on there which is sorry it's still kind of blurry but those pin numbers will all have to be different for pdf coupons there's no pin numbers the barcodes are always the same 
So if they try to say, oh, these barcodes are all the same, just politely point out that the barcodes on all coupons are the same, of the same type of coupon. You know, like the Natalie's coupons all have the same barcode because it's one offer. The PIN number is what has to be different. Not all printable coupons have PIN numbers and they're not required to. Again, that is also not in Publix's coupon policy that they require printable coupons to have PIN numbers. You know, it's it's a common thing, but it's not an always thing. So just kindly explain that to them if they have an issue with that um, or, or just use one if you don't really feel like going back and forth about it. But either way, let me know if you all score any of these deals in the Peakage app. And of course, happy couponing!